Hi class, my name is Doug Annawalt and I'll be your instructor for the term. I'm excited to meet each of you and to work with you throughout the term, help everyone be successful. Please utilize me, reach out anytime with questions. You can email, you can text, you can call. I'm always happy to help. So in the remainder of this video, I'm just gonna highlight a few help resources in the course, some important places to check. I wanna start off by saying that each week I'm gonna be sending out announcements and emails that contain videos I've created that work through some of the highlights from each new section. I'll go through some sample problems that should be really helpful to watch. So watch those, they'll be short, compact, um, helpful videos that I'll send out each week. Um, so now let me show you a few places in the course that um, you should pay a special attention to. So if you go here to course content, and then you can go into each week. Um, so I'll just jump into week one here. One thing to pay attention to, in addition to my videos, there's some good lecture videos built into the course already. So um, check those out, watch through, uh, watch through them each week because they have a lot of good examples and tips as well to help you with the assignments. And in addition to the videos in this section, I really like the what's due this week. Um, it's kind of similar to the checklist, so you whichever one's best uh, for you. But clicking on the what's due this week gives you a nice breakdown of all your assignments, the day they're due, and then some additional information about those assignments. If you have questions as you read through this, which you should do you know, early in the week to get an idea of how to plan your week out, you know, reach out to me, let me know. If any of these due dates are going to be an issue for you for some special circumstances you have, or if something comes up out of the blue, you get sick or something, uh, let me know. I'm happy to work with students as long as you communicate. One thing to pay attention to each week, uh, before you can do the reviews, the review homework, you have to get at least an 80% on the actual homework. So you can keep trying the homework over and over until you master it, get that 80%, then you'll do the, the review homework, and keep working on that until you get to 60%. Um, it's recommended that you don't stop at 60%. Work on the review until you at least have an 80% and feel really comfortable with the material because the test is worth a lot of points and it has a time limit. You're only gonna attempt it one time. So you need to be really ready for that test before you give it a try. Um, but you have to reach certain proficiencies on these assignments before you can take the test. I've jumped over to my stat lab now. Um, there are some good uh, lecture PowerPoints and videos included uh, for, each, for each week we're going through. So um, there's a lot in here. You may not have uh, be able to watch them all or read through them all, but focus on the ones where you have the most challenges with the homework or uh, the most unfamiliar material and utilize these videos, utilize these PowerPoints. They're built right in there into stat lab. Um, so then after you've looked through those within your actual homework, let me pull up a preview here. So I pulled up a homework here and within your actual homework, really utilize this question help. This, this might be the best place to start if you do get stuck on a problem. Um, the help me solve this, the viewing example will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get from the beginning of the problem all the way to the end. And it'll break it down. Sometimes you'll open one up let me see about this one. Um, and it'll say like there's 16 steps. You have 13 parts remaining because it's going to stop every so often and see if you understand and ask you to input the answer from what from that little chunk that they told you about. So it'll do step by step from the beginning to end. If you can follow that along, then it'll give you the chance to work on an almost identical problem and just a slightly different numbers and replicate those steps and get the answer on your own. So those are great tools. Sometimes they're not enough. Um, you can jump in here to the textbook. It'll take you to the right section that refers to this problem. Sometimes there's a video listed here. Um, I'm gonna show you some videos about using StatCrunch. It's a great tool that can make a lot of these calculations easier, um, but that tool is here too. But if you're really stuck and these things aren't working, you can't really understand what's going on, use the Ask My Instructor button. This is one of the best ways to send me questions uh, because it sends me an exact copy of your problem. And if you put an answer in already, it shows me what answer you put in. So use that, type in a little bit about where you're stuck at or where you're having trouble. 
but this rather than email or me or texting and saying, hey, I have a question about number 11, this is the best way to ask me questions about a certain problem because I get an exact copy of that problem. So that's the question help. Definitely utilize that while you're in MathLab. And that was it for this video. I'm excited to meet you all. Uh, jump into the discussion board and get your first post in by Wednesday. Everybody have a great week.